So, hello, Mr. Jones, can I come in? Hi, good morning, my name is Diego. I am your student nurse for today. Today we are going to be drawing blood from your pick line. Uh, is it okay if we go ahead and proceed with the procedure? Good, perfect. Okay, so first what I would do is I will go ahead and check the site, make sure where the pick line is located. There is no um, swelling, irritation, any signs of inflammation or infection. As of right now, there is none, everything looks good. If there is an infusion running, you would go ahead and stop the infusion in the pump and you would go ahead and clamp both of the locations. Following that, you're gonna go ahead and clean the area for about 10 seconds as the friction motion following that you're gonna go ahead and uncap your syringe take out the air bubble okay you would attach it you would unclamp it and then you would flush after you flush the whole 10 cc syringe you would unclamp this get an empty syringe and pull back about 5 mls and that's your waste you're not gonna go ahead and use this because it is contaminated with normal saline. So if you're running a basic metabolic panel or a complete metabolic panel and that's gonna cause some issues because your sodium levels will be high. Next, what you would do is you would get a clean sterile syringe, go ahead, attach it, and draw back the amount of blood that you need. Depending on the test that you're running, certain tubes require a certain amount of blood. This syringe is only 10 mLs and this is perfect for what we need. You will put it to the side in a clean area. Following that, you're going to get a new flush, normal saline. You're going to attach it. And then you're going to slowly pump 10 mLs into the cath catheter. Once it's filled up all the way, you detach it, get the clamp, and clamp it up. Now, there are different ways to do this. A certain hospitals have vacutainers that will attach to the bottom of this, and you have your tubes, and you just puncture it in, and then the negative pressure in the tube will go ahead and pull all the blood out into the tube, so it does it by itself. Certain hospitals will require you to just pull it with the syringe because they feel that the syringe will not damage the vein or the pick line. Uh, depending on the hospitals, what you do. Other things to take into consideration is that certain hospitals will require you to flush the pick line with a heparin a solution. This way there's no clots within here or any clots that form inside the patient's body. And that's it. Thank you.